Here we are again with another quick video with HP tuners, and this time we're going to talk about how to change the rear gear calibration or when you change the tire size on it, how to go in and recalibrate uh, in the VCM editor. So what you do is open up your tune or download the tune out of the vehicle, open up VCM editor, and then we'll start to go through and make the changes we need. So if you go to edit down to the gear tire wizard, Click that, it'll open up a little dialog box where you can change the tire size or the gear ratio so you can recalibrate and make sure that the, the vehicle's operating correctly, transmission operates correctly, shift points operate correctly, all that. So in the auto scale here, that current setting is how tall the rear tire is. And what we need to do is enter in the new value for the new tire size that we put on. Now the easiest way to get that tire height in inches is to go ahead and use the calculator that HP Tuners provides to convert that over from the aspect ratio of the tire over to the tire height. So this unit conversion table in tools, I use it all the time. You're going to use it all the time. It's a really excellent tool to quickly do the math for you. So in this case, what we need to do is enter in the tire size aspect ratio that comes on the tire. And in this case, there's a 275-65-R18. And once we enter that information in, it'll automatically give us the tire size in inches that we need. And in this case, it's 32.1. And that's the value that we're going to enter in over on the edit back in the gear tire wizard into that new tire size that we put on. So the original size was 30.87. Now we're going to enter in the new value of 32.1. And in this case, even though you've already got the gear ratio in there, we didn't change it in this case. You, when there's a white box there, you have to enter that value in there. So you're going to have to put the 32, 3.42 ratio in there. Um, once you hit adjust, then it'll automatically update the computer to give that feedback back to the transmission, engine, and all that, that the tire size has changed, and now it recalibrates all those things to work together. So if you go back up in here to edit, now that you adjust it, go back to the gear tire wizard, it'll have that value in there that it saved. So now that it's in there, it's saved, you've got it all updated in there, go ahead and resave the file with an update of what you've done. Now, every time I make a small change like this or a big change or whatever, once I'm done working, I will rename the tune file with what I did. In this case, something simple. We just changed uh, new tire size or with new tire size, whatever you need to do so you know that you can leave a little breadcrumb here. If you need to go back and change something, you screwed it up, you can take small steps and go back and fix something that maybe you screwed up. And literally, it's that easy. All you got to do at this point then is to re-upload the tune back into the vehicle, and you're done if that's all the changes that you're going to make. Uh, very simple process. Like I said, not complicated. But when you make those changes to the vehicle, if you're going to change the rear end ratio, you know, obviously, you're going to have to recalibrate. In this case, even though I just changed the tire size and it wasn't that much different from the size it was on there, it made a big difference in the calibration. And you want to be able to keep the transmission operating correctly, torque converter, shift points, and all the things that it affect in the engine as well. So a uh, very simple video, very simple uh, adjustment, but certainly one that's important anytime you make those changes out back. Thanks again for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Got any questions on this video or any of the others on the HP Tuner side, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.